an electronic store gave a store-wide discount of 15% during a sale. So looking at the diagram, the usual price is 100%. So with the 15% discount, you are paying 85% of the item. Second part of the story, Benedict signed up as a member and was entitled to an additional of 8% discount. But careful because it says on the discounted price. Which means that 85% just now was changed into the new 100%. Can you see? It's a new 100% now. And based on the new 100%, the 8% discount is given. Okay, clear? Now, from there on, he says that he bought an air fryer and the price of the air fryer is $125.12. What's the usual price of the air fryer? So we have to work backwards. Okay, using the model given, if we were to work backwards, let's see what happens. The first part, $125.12 is equal to 92% from the blue color portion. So our first step is to find the 100% that's in blue color. So to find 100%, you would take 125.12 divided by 92 times 100 which we will get $136 so now I'm going to write that $136 inside okay now working backwards as you can see this $133 $136 becomes 85% and with the 85%, we are going to find the usual price, which is 100% in the pink color portion. Let's try it. So, that 85% now becomes 136. So, we are finding the new 100% over there. 136 divided by $85 times 100 and our answer is hundred and sixty dollars that's it okay now we're gonna try solving the question using another method let's look at this phrase again additional eight percent discount on discounted prices so the first one was actually hundred percent then fifteen percent discount given so minus 15, it becomes 85%. When they say additional 8% discount given on this discounted price, you have to take into consideration 8% discount of 85%. So how do I work this out? I can use it with the help of fraction. And since calculators allow 8 out of 100, times 85 will give you 6.8%. So you are going to subtract 6.8% from 85%, which will give you 78.2%. Alright, now this is your overall percentage that you have to pay for the air fryer which means 78.2% is equals to 125.12. Okay, and you're finding usual price, which is 100%. So 125.12 divided by 78.2. Don't worry about the decimal point because you can use calculator and then multiply 100. Try on your calculator and see what do you have for answer you should get 160, which is the same as our previous method. Some students might think that this additional 8% discount is a top up of 15%. Well, sometimes some shops does it this way, but some will give you discount based on the discounted price. 
So if students thought that it's an additional, that means they add it up, what they are doing is taking 15 plus 8 percent, which is how many percent? 23 percent discount. So they are trying to say that this hundred and twenty five dollars twelve cent is hundred minus twenty three, which is equals to seventy seven percent. And based on that, let's see what happens. Seventy seven percent is one two five point one two. So they are finding usual price, which is hundred percent. One two five point one two divided by seventy seven times 100 will give you 162.49 about that approximately sorry I should have mentioned okay approximately because it's an infinite number so if you use this figure 162.49 dollars it's actually more expensive remember just now our previous answer we have seen that you actually paid it with $160. So by giving additional discount on discounted price, it's actually more worth it.